Yes, sir. Here we go. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome to another video. Today's video, y'all already know what time it is. We got a bunch of drama to get into. As a matter of fact, title of this video, uh, Wednesday Night Drama, baby. Here we go. So let's actually get one thing out the way, okay? There's been a lot of crybabies in the comments. I call you guys the squirrels. You know, the little the squirrels that all congregate together in my comments and just go, I don't like you. Your channel's falling on me. Me, Kevin. I don't you have your content. I'm on my nuts. You weirdos who keep coming to my comments, this Friday, you will get your chance to debate me like a man. So I'm calling y'all out because y'all got so much to say. All right, crybabies. This Friday, I am doing the disagreement show. So don't be a scary. Don't be like Scott Schaefer. Don't be that person that talks smack about me, but then wants to block me so I can't comment on any of his videos. And then when I have my Friday night live streams, you don't want to come on and debate me like a man. Show scary butt on here, boy. You. I'm talking to you, scary. All y'all in the comments <laughs> living in your mama's basement. So now we're going to go ahead and get into a little bit of the drama here, okay? Uh, first order of business is a YouTuber by the name of Scott Schaefer, who obviously you guys know. Uh, him and I are not on good terms at all because I can't respect somebody that's going to make videos bashing me, but then will block me and hide me from the channel where I can't comment and defend myself. And then when I challenge him to a debate on multiple occasions, he doesn't want to come and debate me. He just wants to hide behind his computer and talk crap about me. It's lame. So I don't respect the dude at all. But he made a video where he basically exposed Tom Nash's uh, real name. Okay, but first off, did you guys notice how terrible of a job that idiot did at pronouncing Deloitte? Like, did you guys hear what he said? When he was hired by Deloitte to work in tax law. His job with Deloitte eventually had him and his family relocate to- What the hell is Deloitte? He eventually started working at his job at Deloitte. What is that, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> now we know for a fact you're not a finance guy it is deloitte my friend deloitte say it right <laughs> this is hilarious okay the other thing i want to address in this video too i'm not so sure that scott schaefer's video is 100 accurate i'll be honest with you guys uh i am not so sure now let me show you guys something that i personally found uh this is a video this is a picture from a video that tom nash recorded in 2020 and post it on his YouTube. You could clearly see in the back that he's literally driving past the sign that says Jerusalem. And if you actually go to that video, you can actually see that that is literally in the video for sure. Like the screenshot that I took literally comes from a video he recorded in 2020, which is still up on his YouTube channel. Highly doubt he was just visiting. I'm pretty sure he lived there. And also there was an interview he gave in, I believe, 2019 or 2020 where he basically, the interview's gone and scrapped and deleted now, but basically people are saying that he said in that interview uh, that he lived in Israel. So I'm not so sure of some of the things that Scott said. I'm not so sure that everything Scott said is 100% accurate. Um, but hey, you know, a lot of people have been wanting to know that for a while. And I'm just going to give go ahead and get my reaction to it. Uh, obviously, it was good work. It's good to... Uh, I'm going to say this. It's good work to dig into this guy's past and figure out if what he's saying is true or not. That part is good. The only thing I don't agree with regarding that video is that he legit exposed his multiple names. I guess the guy had several names. He had one name when he was younger. Then when he got older, he changed his name, and now he go by a different name. And Scott exposed all three of the names. That's the only thing that I say I would have done differently. I wouldn't have done that. Uh, obviously I can't really talk. I get it. Cause obviously I'm the freaking guy who exposed me. Kevin's DUI, but at the end of the day, the DUI was public information as well as the court case. But seeing what country he's from makes me start to realize, well, where he lives starts to make me understand now why he wanted his name to be hidden. So if that's really where Tom Nash lives, then I actually do understand why he wanted to hide his name. Cause I'm over here thinking he probably lived in the United States somewhere you know, not every country is like the United States. It's, it's real dangerous out here. It really is. So I, I get it. But regardless of what happened, Scott chose to expose the guy's name. Now, that's not what I've done, what I would have done. Had I have been able to uh, find Tom Nash's credentials and identity and everything, what I would have done is I just would have showed like the pictures of him. So you guys know that I found his identity. I would have showed like a baby picture and like, you know, like a uh, 
like pictures of him in his work, his previous workplaces and that different things like that. But I wouldn't have exposed his name, especially if I uncovered that I that he lived in Georgia, which is what Scott Schaefer did. Once I saw that, I would have been like, oh, OK, I see why this guy is hiding his name. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not going to expose that. Now, the last thing I want to do is I do want to make sure I inform you guys of what type of scumbag we're dealing with here, because many of you guys might not know, especially some of you newcomers here. But uh, Scott Schaefer is what you will call a failed grifter. He tried to become a grifter for about a day or two and didn't really work out so well because he doesn't really have any solid or valuable information to provide. And he immediately stopped because nobody wanted to be a part of it. Matter of fact, let me show you guys. So Scott Schaefer. OK. He started a Patreon. He literally started grifting off of the me Kevin situation that I started. Most people know that. I don't have to get into that story. But when the whole DUI thing happened, Scott Schaefer jumped all over it, started making endless videos about it. And then once he started to get some a, a little bit of a following from it, he started a $100 Patreon. Yes, that is exactly what happened. After he started the Patreon, I called him out. Then he bot attacked my channel. Like there, there's a lot to this story, guys. But I called him out for it because him and I were cool at one point until he did the Patreon thing. Once he did the Patreon thing, I was like, oh, yeah, this guy's a grifter. He's a clown. So I stopped being cool with him and I actually started going after him. And then he freaking bought bots to attack my channel. And then after that, you can see this comment right here. Financial Education 4 says you forgot to add the Patreon link, my guy. This and then Scott commented and said, I took the link down since people were hating. No, people weren't hating. You can't be a grifter slayer or going after grifters and then you become a grifter yourself. This guy was trying to use the Meet Kevin situation and say, oh, because Meet Kevin is copyright striking all my videos. Make sure you guys sign up for my hundred dollar Patreon so you can get exclusive access to the videos that I can't post on YouTube because Kevin's going to copyright strike it like. Come on, y'all. Is it not obvious that this guy is such a clown to grifter? Look, Scott Schaefer is a soulless, spineless coward and just a dark human being. You know what I'm saying? He's like the closest thing you could get to just that inner horrible demon. Like, that's what this guy is. He's a terrible, nasty, dark, disgusting person. And hopefully one day, one day you guys wake up and realize that. See, there's a difference between grifter slang, calling people out, and just being an outright scumbag. And don't get me wrong. Some of you guys who worship Scott Schaefer. And some of you guys who are just overly obsessed with me, Kevin, and some of these grifters. Some of you guys are dark human beings too and weirdos. But thankfully, some of you guys have a moral compass. Mo I would say most of you guys have a moral compass. And I know my followers do. I can't speak for Scott's followers. But all those weirdos who you know used to like me and Scott, I, I freaking told them go take a hike like you you all take that dark weirdo stuff over there we don't do that over here i mean we're here to stand for justice and righteousness we're not here to just do anything it takes to grow our youtube channel even freaking i don't know whatever weird creepy things scott likes to do so that's what he's into whatever i'm here to tell you guys right now the guy's not a good person it's only a matter of time until the truth comes out it'll eventually come out and uh yeah there's my opinion on tom nash situation Obviously, you guys know how I feel about Scott Schaefer, one of the worst human beings on YouTube. And uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That'll go ahead and conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.